Hello and welcome to this video from Client Engager. In this video, I'm going to take you through Forms. Forms is releasing on the 8th of September, the night of, so it'll be ready for use from the 9th of September onwards. In this video, I'm going to show you how you create a form, how you send that form to the client, and what we can do with the information when it comes back. So let's go into Client Engager and have a look. So here we are in Client Engager. First of all, to build a form, we go to Settings. We go to Data Form Definitions. And these are some demi forms that we've already got. When we launch forms to the public, there will be some templates in here as drafts for you to be able to edit and copy and use. I'm going to create a new form. When I press on new forms, I've got two options. I can either create a new form from scratch, so it's a blank canvas, or I can create from an existing form. In this case, I'm going to create from an existing form. I'm going to choose a form I want to use. I'm going to press proceed. I can then save this later as draft, which means I can come back and edit it. Publish, which means it can't be edited, but the clients can fill it in. Or you can save it as archive, which means you can't edit it and your clients can't use it. So only archive forms you don't need anymore. As you can see, you can go through adding different sections to each form, asking different questions. If I want to ask a question again on here. Maybe I want to know a client's VAT number. I can go in and I can choose to make it a VAT number. If I want to ask a question which isn't related to some fields that are in Client Engager, so how is the weather today? You can use form specific questions and choose different for drop down types. So you can use multi line, single line, etc. If I want to use a question that's based on a custom field that I've got, you can also do that. So all of our custom fields is uh, marketing source. So I'm going to say Finders. Now I can preview what this form is going to look like for my client by clicking on here and you can see the look of the form here. For now though, I'm going to save this, but I'm going to make it a published form because I want to then use it. Now I want to send this form to a client. So I'm going to go to my clients. I'm going to go into client engage as my client. You've now got a new option called form requests. In here, you can request a new form, select the form that you want your client to fill out. In this case, I'm going to ask a client to update the details we already have on record. I only want the client to fill out this form once. If you want to fill the, form, the client to be able to fill the form out a lot of times, maybe for payroll information, then you can mark yes that it can be filled out multiple times. If you want the form to be blank, then leave pre-populated as no. If you want the form to be pre-populated with information already held on record to save your client's time entering things, you can press yes. I'm going to press save. And now we have the option to review the answers, which we won't have any because it's still pending, or to notify the client. So I'm going to notify my client. It, just like signing requests, it automatically puts the form link in there. So when the client clicks on that, they'll log into their portal and it'll take them straight to the form they need to complete. I'm going to press set. Okay, so I've now logged into my client portal and I can see I've got one form outstanding here for this uh, business of mine. So I'm going to click on forms. Once you click on forms, it's going to take us through to here. Now, if I click the link from the email, it would have taken me here straight away. I can now click on respond as the client. Please update your client details. This is when it was requested. I'm going to fill out the form. As you can see, it's pre-populated with all the information the accounting firm has already got for me. And I can select as well where I found them, Google. And then there's an option bit here for them to add additional comments if they want. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to press save. Then I'm going to, I can either go back and edit this, I can delete the answers and start again, or I can finish and submit response. As the accounting firm, we now come back into our practice management. We've now got a notification saying the test form's been completed. So I can come in here. And I can see the test form. I can press review your answers. And I can see this person has completed this. So I've got two options here. One is I can view and copy the answers to the client records. And the second one is to export response to PDF. So I'm going to do that. Okay, so here we've got the PDF that I've just exported from Client Engager. 
as you can see, all the fields are filled in by the client. I can see which client it's for, the response date, all of the key information that we need, and when this was generated as well, and who by. So we can either save this onto our client and upload it into our client files, or if we're just copying the information across, we could have just pressed view and copy. So this feature launches on the 8th of September. As always, with everything we build, it's all inclusive into the price you're already paying. So there's no additional charges. There's no limitations on how much you can use the form feature. You can do as many forms as you like. Examples we've seen so far are onboarding forms, annual client renewal forms, where they're checking the details and confirming they're still correct, client up detail update forms, payroll information forms, CIS information forms, VAT self-assessment company registration forms. There's absolutely loads of great examples on our Facebook group at the moment. So why not join the Facebook group if you're not there already? And this feature, as I say, will be available late on the 8th of September, morning of the 9th. We hope you enjoy it and any feedback, please do send it our way. Thank you very much.